you know, you said you're close to Kevin Hart. Yeah, I mean, listen, I don't roll with Kevin, like, with him, but I know Kevin very well. That's my yep. man. Yeah. I don't, I don't roll with him and his crew, not at all. But I know yeah. Kevin for a long time. You understand? What's your take on the whole extortion thing that he's going Shit, through now? Man. God damn. <laughs> oh, man. First of all, it's none of my business. First off, I mean, I feel bad for the guy, but his stat, he, he's at such a high status. I mean, he's one of the, he's the most famous comedian in the world, bro. Like, little Kevin, Kevin annoys me because I'm mad at his success. We, we fuck around with each other. I'm angry at his dumb success. But when you're that, when you're at that level, man, and Kevin, you know, his business sense is phenomenal, first of all. His business sense, he's become an entrepreneur. His LOL, I've done stuff on his new LOL channel. The, the, the way he has spread out the work for his crew, all his whole crew, they're, they're, they're writers, they're, they're, he, he's giving people work. His whole work ethic is phenomenal. I mean, we can actually learn from the shit that he's doing. But when you're at that level, man, you got to be careful with your shit, man. I'm sorry. You got to be careful. And it does, It didn't look good, the fact that she was pregnant, too. Like, oh, man. Wait, it, oh, his wife is pregnant. Yeah, his yeah. wife's pregnant. And then, it, like, you know what I mean? It's like during, like, that period is like, how it's like sacrilege. You have a child. You have a child and you're doing this shit. I, I was like, I kind of threw my hands up. I'm like, hey, man, I hope they work that shit out. You understand what I'm saying? But he has to know. When you're at that level, man, there's, if you're, and you know what, this girl, who's, what's her name? What's this chick's name? Who says it, she's it don't a, even, It don't even matter. She's oh, a writer. Wait, you're talking about she's the girl a, he, he messed with? Yeah. Sa Saga, what's her, Saga, Sa whatever the fuck her name is. What's her name? Saggy ass. <laughs> fuck is her name? Baggy, baggy face. What's her name? She, she you know what, you, this is how I think she's trying um, to story. Montia Sabag. Oh, Sabag. <laughs> Sabag. Monty is Sabag hag, right? Listen, let me tell you how I feel like it's an extortion thing. When she said, uh, I'm a uh, I'm an artist, I'm a singer, I'm a, she starts throwing her resume and I go, she she's on some bullshit. Cause her lawyer is like, they, and they keep pushing it, right? They keep she she's staying in the news, so it seems like now it's looking extortion-y like because she's still fucking trying to stay in the news and stay relevant. It's starting to look like an extortion. I'm sorry, it's starting to look like it. And then you drop in your resume. I'm a singer, dancer, slash writer, model. I'm also a model, just to let you know. Um, I have a record deal. I'm hoping to get another one. <laughs> and this has interrupted my, my, you know, come on. So I don't know, but all I can say is when you're at a level like that, all eyes are on you, period. That's all I'm saying. Cause I'm not I'm not Kevin Hart. I'm not in his business and I ain't no fucking saint. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna say what you need to do, Kevin, when you need to please. All right? I'm a fucking, I'm a bastard. I'm a creep. All right. <laughs> you know what I mean? I've I fucked up a lot of shit in my life. All right. I fucked up a lot of shit in my life. And so it's it would be wrong for me to go, you shouldn't have no. I just know that he's a grown ass man. And at that level. You should fucking know what the deal is. And you've there's plenty of people who have learned their lessons. You should have learned from that. You know what I mean? So it's it's one of those things where now he's just got to deal with it. And I just hope he works the shit out. We'll see what happens. I, I'm i just sitting back. You know what I mean? And that's my man. Right. I think it's a good point, though. You know, the fact that at the level that he's at, right. you know, I think he's, like, he's looked it up. A, he's worth like $120 million or something like that. He's supreme right now. And, and I remember I interviewed Bow Wow. Well, you had uh, you had mentioned a while back that uh, you gave advice to James Harden about side chicks. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. See, a lot of people don't. I think. See, a lot of people don't understand that. Like I said, I got a, uh, there's another side of Bow that the world don't know. Mm -hmm. You know, so it was just fun. It was just funny because I've never been caught up like that before. My game always been tight. We take phones away, so the blogs don't get things. You take phones away. Automatic. So, so if a girl comes to your house, you don't have a phone. You don't you have, have a phone. Then, as soon as you get off the elevator, elevator lets you off in my crib. We got a phone bin. Phones go in the bin. In the bin. In the bin. And we got forms. We still got those forms. And we got forms. Oh, so a girl that comes, sign hang out with you, has to sign a, a non-disclosure. Non yep. And phones are gone. Okay. If a girl come in and oh no, I need my phone. Well, 
one of my partners escort you back downstairs. Can't have that phone. Oh, so they have to go downstairs. Got to leave because Man. we don't want we don't want click, ball click. alerts. We don't want yeah. We don't want to get them no traction. Like, this is, this is great. This is great advice here, man. Yeah, we don't want to get them no traction because as soon as a girl catch me in the house doing some shit and all they got to do is just hashtag ball alert, that shit going to pop up. They going to post it or shade room. They going to post it. It's a booty contract. It's right, a look, booty. I remember when, yo, when Charlie Sheen yeah. announced that he had HIV, I know a, I knew a girl oh, who had shit. messed with him. Oh, boy. And I said, hey, do you want to do an interview about this? Because this is, you know, because she didn't know he was HIV positive. She's like, I signed so many forms when I went into that house. Really? That I can't, I can't say shit. She, she, oh, so she's just stuck with AIDS. <laughs> well, hopefully not. So but. She, she, no, <laughs> she got a ward on her lip like, well, that's how it goes. <laughs> I signed the contract. <laughs> Are you, hey, you got an AIDS bump. Well, I signed for it. <laughs> But it's not just an AIDS bump, it's Charlie Sheen's AIDS bump. I want to see if I can capitalize on it. Maybe take it to a museum, Smithsonian, something like that. I don't know. But it is what it is. I signed the contract. 